Next, we have um, Dr. Um, Estella, Estella Bivuma from South Africa. Uh, Estella, I would like to invite you uh, to come forward or you can speak from your uh, where you are. <coughs> uh, are you able to hear me? Yes, we can hear you loud and clear. Thank you. Fantastic. Good afternoon in the cold weather of South Africa. Um, I'm very excited to be here and thank you for the invitation. I was requested to give highlights of my paper, but also specifically to focus on a call for African researchers. So let me say first, I was excited to see my paper being excited because this is something that is very personal to me. Um, that, you know, that speaks of leadership and integrity. And I thought of how do we then look at the technologies like blockchain um, to enhance procurement processes. Um, greetings to my fellow panelists. I'm very excited and honored to share this podium with yourselves. Um, but because of time, um, let me manage my excitement. A little bit of a background is that, um, you know, the paper was inspired by a corruption that continues to plague many economies and governments worldwide, which threatens, of course, the economic stability of um, many countries um, like myself in South Africa, because we've tried to, do, uh, you know, implement laws, rules and harsher penalties just to cap corruption, criminals, um, often find ways to evade justice and making the fight against corruption an ongoing challenge. So the issues around corruption, particularly, they are devastating for developing economies, um, which already face numerous difficulties. For example, um, the South African economy is still in its growth phase. Um, if you look at the Transparency International's 2021 Corruption Perception Index, of um, South Africa scored 44 out of 100, ranking 70th of um, out of 180 countries. I think that is devastating enough for a citizen like myself. And I must also mention that this paper was inspired by me working as the deputy chairperson of the state information technology of the South African IT agency that I was appointed by the cabinet of South Africa to kind of look at digitizing of South Africa. And I realized that many of our challenges within the public sector was mainly, um, you know, gravely impacting the small medium enterprises or small businesses as commonly known. Um, of course, even here in South Africa, small businesses are a backbone of both developed and developing economies where they contribute significantly to South Africa's G GDP and they foster um, growth, um, creating jobs and, and reducing poverty. So um, while some of the small businesses in South Africa, we call them SMMEs, which is small, media, micro enterprises, um, they've benefited from the relationship of um, where many of them have su suffered due to corrupt government officials or officials within the procurement space, given the importance of this sector and public procurement to economic growth, it was crucial that their business activities, um, you know, they are running within the transparency in procurement processes. Um, of course, in, in our research findings, which were published by JBBA, um, we highlighted transformative potential of the fourth industrial revolution technologies, specifically blockchain in revolutionizing procurement processes within the public and the private uh, sector. Our study methodology, which you would find if you read, um, we looked, we conducted a Prisma methodology. Um, I won't go into too much details of that because of time, but the key findings was we used a thematic analysis of our 12 articles where we were able to find, uh, revealing that 10 of them directly addressed the potential blockchain to improve integrity and transparency in procurement. Now, in those articles, um, they, we identify several critical factors that I'll just touch a few of those um, that influence the efficiency and fairness of procurement processes. And that was specifically looking at how do we handle contracts where we ensure that contract management is transparent and verifiable. 
We also looked at the risk uh, involvement in terms of mitigating the risk through secure and traceable processes. Of course, securing of data, um, that is looking at data integrity and confidentiality, um, transaction processing, um, which is uh, focusing on streamlining and securing transaction workflows and access to critical data ensuring that essential information is, re is readily available and also accurate. Um, I'll just touch on those key few things, but one last one that I just want to touch on was the types of contracts at, which addresses various contract types distinctingly. Um, the remaining two articles in the study did not explicitly um, link blockchain technology to improvements in integrity and transparency within procurement um, context. But I guess maybe for me to touch on the last part um, of the call to action for African researchers, I think this research opens avenue for African scholars to contribute further to the growing body of knowledge on blockchain technologies by focusing on case studies, um, of course, pilot programs and region specific challenges. Um, I also want to encourage researchers, um, you know, because they can help articulate the benefits and practical applications of blockchain um, in improving procurement processes. Ultimately, um, you know, looking at a more transparent and equitable landscape, specifically for small businesses or SMMEs, as we call them in South Africa, but particularly across the continent.